previously on Naughty Guys. Over the weekend, they were doing a whole bunch of work, so we want to make sure we see before we take off what that looks like. Oh my God, it's heavy! Look at this, it's coming together. It looks like a container ship. <laughs> For the length of the boat, we have an almost 24-foot beam. I still can't wrap my head around it. I cannot wait to see it join together and actually really towering in front of us and we can see the the magnitude, the actual height of the boat. We're walking on the ceiling. Yes, this is so bizarre. First we showed you this starboard cabin. Large bed here with a big window. And the ensuite is right here in this area. Let's go forward. This is our VIP cabin. You guys saw this wall, which was our bulkhead. We went all the way back and we saw a primary stateroom. Wow, this was a big space actually, now looking at it. That was really big. Look at the beam. <laughs> Right? Wow, too bad we don't get to live in this cabin. Let's go to the main deck. What did we all do there? The big thing was to add an outdoor storage. I like that we got a much larger one that we <laughs> asked for, so that's great. That works for me. We got this hidden shelf that we were talking about adding, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah. And this is our the barn area. Floor. And then I would like to add, I think that shelf we talked about that kind of pulls out. I think that would be really, really cool. It should be like a bar or a glass area. Your designer can edit. So these need to be orange. Orange. This is on Rico's NBBL. Oh my God, it's gonna look so good. By the way, if you don't pay attention for the colors, it's yeah. just for to show some different... But we want to make sure it doesn't get, you know, mm -hmm. this it's is his, not his like... one thing on his list. It's really important yeah. to him. And then right here, we're gonna chat with interior designer as well, which I think would be good to understand this space here. So just figure out what this looks like with storage, if it goes all the way up or sort of half. Mm -hmm. So that would be something I want to look into. Big thing, you guys, we uh, had second thoughts on this revolving table. We went back and forth on it. First, we really thought it'd be a fun feature. I guess the big thing for me was, I don't know, let me know in the comments if you guys think that you love that and you think that we're crazy for taking it out. But I wanted to have equal chairs. We've had this four chairs that would be here and then the rest would have to be some kind of foldable store chairs or some kind of sort of compromise chairs. Just felt like such a hustle to get them out, to put them out. I felt like we're gonna use it all the time anyway, so. So what did we come up with? We, as in Rico, came up with something. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. Initially, when he told me what he wanted, I was like, that just sounds weird. I yeah, that's putting it nicely. <laughs> Let's just say there was a friction. I just said, like, I have to see a photo. Whatever you say is just, I've never seen that before. I think it's weird. It doesn't make sense to me. But then he actually came up with, like, a really blurry picture of what he was talking about. And I was like, hmm, that does not look bad. I definitely think that could work. So, and what is it? Basically, he wanted a raised portion of the bar here, which I've seen before, but he wanted to completely wrap it around and I couldn't quite understand what it looked like from this side. So what's cool about it goes all the way down to the floor here. So it's sort of a waterfall piece here, which is pretty cool. And it's raised above the countertop. So the countertop is a bit below that. The shaft has a really nice surface, can put stuff here behind. It's almost like hidden a little bit from this area here. I think it's a cool solution. And I think it gives us a much bigger working surface for the shaft. It's nice for somebody else to be able to help out in the galley. So that just got changed, and I think now it looks really, really nice. And it's still seating it. for six people. Yeah, proper seating for so six. Well, it got extended a little bit, so like this actually went a little bit further, and yeah. then it went past like this door here, so it just created a nice lines when you look at it. And quite honestly, like when we have done crewing jobs for clients of ours, most of the time we didn't have the set time breakfast. Yeah. So this would actually come in really handy because even if you have eight guests on board, not everybody gets up at the same time. Not everybody wants to have breakfast at the same time. So this would be a cool spot where as you wake up, as guests coming upstairs, they can just have breakfast right there, freshly made. Yeah, I think it depends on the group. So like yeah. our experience has been like some groups just really love having breakfast together. Mm -hmm. They like to have a set time. They ask us what time breakfast is and, and then we say, okay, well then if that's how you guys like to have breakfast all together, it would be at this time. Let's say breakfast is whatever, nine o'clock. And then they all sort of slowly trickle in, have coffee, and then by that time, all together they have breakfast. So that could be here, 
that could be upstairs for us, it could be anywhere, it could be here as well, but if it's more than six, then it would be definitely probably here. But a lot of the times I feel like some people just don't eat breakfast at all and some people really enjoy a nice breakfast. So this kind of gives a nice chance to, to them to not have this like hard time what time they have to get exactly. up. Exactly. So Which brings really cool. us yeah. to the galley. Wait, actually hold on. Before we go there, another add-on we had is... On the hold on. Big change. As you guys saw how excited Vladimir was about this change. You're not gonna like me right now, but I have a request. This is the reason we drag you over here at lunchtime while it's quiet is because I was thinking about it and the light bulb went on and I was like, why do we have this door? Because, you know, originally we had this corridor that it was gonna go into the crew quarters on the exterior, but now yeah. we don't have that. We're going full beam and now with this weird door and we were putting this cabinet here. So you kind of like walk into this cabinet. So I'm wondering, I know this is cut already, but is there a way we can change this door from here to match the other side? and put it here. Okay, let's start first from the sign J. When it was signed? Yeah. <laughs> the door was here. <laughs> the door was here. <laughs> <laughs> I think so he's giving you shit right now. <laughs> are, you, are you saying no to me? <laughs> so this is the first half. We can modify it as you wish. Yeah. But what we did generally not to spend the construction of this. Yeah. So we started to build according to initial J. Yeah. You can change it. It's possible. So what, how does it's it work? not possible, but we will make it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Yeah. I mean, what do you just weld this back and cut it here? Or how, how would it <laughs> yeah, work? Of course, yes. You, it's doable? It's doable. But you're this saying, like, still? don't do this at home when you're next 75. <laughs> do not come to me changing. I know it's late in the game, but I'm just thinking, like, if we don't have this door, we can extend this really nice storage all the way into this wall. And yeah. it just seems like a total waste of a door. So I just want to say that three weeks ago, we signed the updated J. So, so and there is no the, this door there. So I would wish not to change it anymore. So we are. <laughs> <laughs> We are making updates for the new door, and we will make it for you. <laughs> but you please sure don't, 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 so don't change anything more. If we change something, do you have to get it approved also with the class? Yeah, of course. I clearly said you're not going <laughs> to like me at this moment. Generally, small openings are not affecting so much the structural yeah. strengthness, but yeah. if you are making big changes, it affects too much. Yeah. I don't think I have anything Speaking that Speaking of changes. Big. Yeah. Do you think we can also add another window there? Since we're already talking about it. Why do we not yes. have a window here? Okay, can we go outside? I will show you one thing. She's already kicking you out of the boat. <laughs> we haven't even started. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, what, no, what was the reason not to placing the yeah. window here? So we have the... How it's a seam. A seam, seam yes, right? Yes, a seam, yes, with the two different surfaces. So if you want to install the window here, we need now to break this line. We will do this for you. Especially for, you. <laughs> <laughs> Especially for you. All these changes are undesired during the construction. Ah. I mean, it should be defined prior there. Yeah. All of this. Well, why do we not have a window to begin with? I'm just saying, like. Because if just... you look at the whole profile, actually, yeah. it's three so windows. How, how can you attach the glazing here, for example? Can yeah. you tell me? It's like flat surface. Yeah. So you have two surfaces in different levels here. I, so. I don't know how. That's yeah. not so, my so job. So that means. <laughs> Oh, because it's, a, it's, it's literally job. an angle here. Oh, it's okay. an angle. Yeah. So now we need to cut this, yeah. weld additional, extend these parts that come inside reinforcement. Oh, that sounds more difficult than I thought. If it was uh, decided prior to this, mm -hmm. we would implement this in the would beginning. Would have been that different. So this is the topic why we're asking why we, we don't have the door there, why we don't have the window there. <laughs> so. So, but since we're already outside here, right? Well, I don't have any more changes. Don't I, put me under the bus. I, no, no, this no, no, is no. all I had. But it's yeah. easier to see from the outside. I do here. have a question, though. So, if we have the door right there, right? Yeah. We're moving this yeah, door correct. to there. Yes, yeah, that's, correct. That's clear. This is going to be a window. Yeah. And then we have somewhere here the sliding door. Yes. So, the sliding door has a glass inside? Of course. Okay. And the other part where the sliding door goes over, is that going to be solid? Is that a wall no, or is that also no, glass? No, no, So, for the sliding door, you can imagine, we have two structural members here supporting all the hull. So, we are just cutting the frame here. Yeah. Making it, one panel is fixed, one is moving. So, so. it's glass panel? Yes. I was uh, right! You will have the full glazing, let's say. Let, it, it will, this wall will be the full glaze. You all looked at me like I was insane yesterday. But we will have the couch 
in front of it. So on the solid part. So no problem, right? It's going to be in front of the window. True. I think okay. it's more it's right. I, so there's going to be a lot of glass. So the whole thing yeah. is glass. It's glass. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I love okay. it. Because they told me it was a wall, which I was okay with. No, but no, no, I think no, no, it's no. better if it's not a wall. Another question. Okay. Since we're already yeah. outside too. Last one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty high headroom. Yeah. I'm not sure like where the actual floor in the end will be. So um, you can imagine so the end of these structural elements plates, it will have just 34 millimeter more for the tree clot. This is bay metal connection for the steel deck. Okay. So on the top you can see the flat bar. Oh this one. Yeah, this one, yes. That so, is, is that the ceiling? So it will be 50 millimeter approximately thickness of the drop ceiling here. Five centimeters. Yeah, five like this much kind yeah. of, right? Like yeah. Yeah, it's so let's say it will come to here. To like half of this. Yeah. And the floor is almost where we stand. I mean yeah. not quite, yeah, but like like a little bit yes. higher, like this much yes. higher maybe. Wow, so that with is the filler really, and thick and so it's on. It's really high actually. It's a really high headroom. Are you going to grow? Most? No, it's, just, huh? it's, it's great. It's great. It's, it's, it's fantastic. I just didn't expect it you to be that stitch. high. Do you know what the height of the ceiling is on the interior uh, when it's finished? I don't keep it in my mind. Yeah. First of all, because I had lunch you today. You don't? You had lunch? Yes, I had lunch. So I my mind, lunch mind, mind abilities are restricted now. For okay. <laughs> because you're digesting. It's a bucket yeah, yeah, for yeah, it, of yeah. course. Oh yes. boy, yes. TMI, but so thanks. I have <laughs> all the sections for the boat showing the headroom heights for all of the decks. So, yeah. so speaking of headroom heights. But uh, I can assure you it will not be less than 2.15 here. What? That's really good. Okay. I can so make two one. Speaking no. of headroom height, <laughs> if we put drop down TV here, we need to drop the ceiling. Is it gonna drop that much? Uh, Is it a mistake? No, I don't think that we need to drop the ceiling, so we will make it as we designed ceiling before, so it will not restrict our headroom height. So. I mean, let us know, because right now we still could decide. No, 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 of course you will not have the drop down TV like sticking out of the mm -hmm. ceiling or mm -hmm. no, no. it will be flush and the ceiling will stay the same level. Oh, really? Let's say okay. the TV lift flip action lift. Yeah. Yeah. It's approximately mechanism by itself. It's 15 centimeter. We can modify if it will not fit. We can make adjustments, but so you will not suffer. <laughs> Which it's brings really us cool. yeah. to the galley. We've kind of laid it out the way we thought that maybe it would be a good flow. And I'm just so, you know, torn. Wow. Like I'm torn, is this right? Generally, we always ask the help from some professional persons for galley because a professional chef know exactly how he use the things on the galley. Yeah, and, we're not uh, a professional which chef. Which size of it need to be for 10 person or for 12 person. For bidding 80, we spoke with the chef from 145. So 145 has like a professional galley like a real real professional yeah. galley like a restaurant but <laughs> like uh, a dream <laughs> even if you don't want to make it professional professional yeah they can help you they have experience they know mm -hmm. which things you need you think of what i'm thinking we know we know idea. a professional chef i got an really? idea yes we've been friends on instagram for well, a while <laughs> well she's on instagram and on YouTube as yeah, well. Yeah, she's actually on YouTube as well. Should we try to call her? Maybe she'd be interested to help us. I mean, it doesn't hurt. Let's, let's do it. Let's just call her. You think she's going to pick up? I don't know. Hey, uh. Hi, Nina. How are we doing? Good. Wait, can you do one sec, Victoria? I'm just, I've just arrived at the airport. I'll give you a call back. I'll just find somewhere quiet. Okay, sounds good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> call me back. <laughs> So you can <laughs> I'm just rolling through the airport. I call you right back. If you guys don't know Nina, she's got her own YouTube channel. It's called Crew Chef, and we love her channel. She's killing it. Good morning. So in this galley diaries, we are gonna cover breakfast and bread. She's a professional chef on a super yacht. She's actually been on a few super yachts. Man, I'm gonna ask her if she can help us. I think that would be really. Excited. That would be amazing. Excited. I mean, that's, she might be too busy, but that would be a really good advice. That's exactly what he needs. She can help you with everything. Well, cross your fingers. Yeah. Let's see if she calls back. There she is. Okay. Hi. Can you see us? Hello. Oh, hey, guys. <laughs> we are recording you. I hope it's okay. This is Christina. Hi. Hello. 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 Hi, hi. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm flying out to work today, so you caught me at a good time. I'm just at the airport. Okay, you have like two two seconds? Okay, two minutes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. Talk to 
excuse me, what's going on? So uh, Christina is in charge of product um, here at Bearing. She's the head of product department. This is Rico is here. So we're sitting here and we're looking at our layout and the galley layout specifically. And Christina said they're using the advice of a professional chef when they, you know, do their 80, 145. And Rico and I were like, we know a professional chef. You're working on your project now and you're thinking, hang on, galley design. Who do we know? Thank you guys. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't know if you have time for this, but if there's any chance you'd be willing to look over our galley layout, since we will have a professional chef, and give us your two cents, like, is it really completely ridiculous or we're on the right track? Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. Send, you know, the GA over, I can take a look. Um, obviously I've worked in a whole bunch of different galleys. I'm sure you guys have got an excellent one, but there might be something I can help with. So yeah, absolutely. Oh, you're awesome. I'm so excited. <laughs> cool. Well, we'll let you uh, grab your flight. So we'll send over the GA and just let us know your thoughts. Thank you. That's amazing. No worries, guys. See you, Victoria. Thank Bye. you. Bye. <laughs> Have Bye, a good flight. Bye. Bye. Yeah, that's it. Oh, awesome. that's it. <laughs> there you go. We got a professional chef. Send the GA. Send the GA right now before she changes her mind. <laughs> so excited. Yeah, oh my God. Be so, really good. Okay, continuing now on. the biggie, the crew quarters. Yeah. All the changes. Let's talk about that. Rico, you have to be part of this conversation. Okay. The crew quarters is the one I'm most excited about. That went through some serious revolution changes. <laughs> of a few different ideas, a few different things. So Rico had this brilliant idea to make a bed good enough for two people, if we would end up with a couple. It's a little tapered bed, right? So on the top end, it's probably close to queen, mm -hmm. and the bottom end, it's just a little bit more than a single, right? But if we would have a couple, potentially, they could sleep in the same bed, and then we have the Pullman on top. So if it's two people, or even if for some reason one is snoring really loud, the person can be on the bunk bed on top. I don't top. know how that's helping anybody if they're snoring really loud. It's well, just it's, still, loud. it's a little elevation in between, oh, you know, that might help a little. So then right now we have a little crew fridge in here, but that might still change because we have multiple locations where we can actually place that stuff. Maybe one side is a little desk, or this side is a little desk, then we have a wardrobe here, quite big actually even for two people. So the biggest change is we moved the crew entrance from here to the center, right next to the fridge. Which allowed us to have really nice windows. Which also oriented. allowed us to have the storage. Correct. And then also on the interior, actually have a proper bathroom with a good size walk-in shower, the sink underneath the window, and the head right on the forward wall and still storage this behind. This is a great shower. A good open space to work laundry. Yeah, that's because almost a meter, that's very good. So the idea is to have a stacked washer-dryer combo right here and then a little bit of storage still next to it, but you could actually put an ironing well, board what here. Well, what I would like to do is have one of these foldable things, so we need to figure that to out. To come out of the cabinet? Some, somewhere. Maybe in between washer and that's dryer. That's what I'm thinking. You know, because washer, if we have the height. only like this high. You know? Yeah, if we have the height, that would be yeah. great. So this crew quarters now, if you look at the entire footprint, is actually really large. Yeah, if you compare it, let's say, to this cabin. Oh, it's bigger. So yeah. that's really fantastic. Yeah. yeah, and one of these is definitely going to be some kind of a working desk and we've got to make sure we build in some sort of privacy curtain just so they can have yep. a little privacy there. This was a big one. It was a difficult one. We went back and forth quite a few times and I'm super impressed how patient everybody has been with us at Bearing, just working through it because it's important to them and you could tell they were really like trying to help and listening to us and coming up with some ideas and such a good cabin now i think compared to what it was before and allowed it to have sort of a private feel when you walk in you can just use a bathroom you don't need to go through this whole sort of cabin and it's easy to get out of each other's way which yep. i think is a big thing when you're crewing even if you're a couple you still want to be able to move around i feel like it's the best variant Right? Yeah. We're stoked about that. It feels like a good accomplishment. So, and I got tons of more storage. And theoretically, if we ever say like, okay, you know what, that's it, no more charter, and we just want to deal on ourselves with the boat, yeah. and don't have any crew, this could be a guest cabin. It's got even more guests? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm going to have that many guests on board. But it could. It could. If you have a lot of children that you want to take with you and <laughs> after we sell our boat, this is a great boat for that. And you know what? This is going to be the massage therapist and the whatever yoga, yoga instructor. instructor. <laughs> <laughs> 
Moving on up to our owner's stateroom and our upper deck. Did we have any changes there? Oh, we did. 